Happy weekend, everyone. We have the Summon Rush together with the 2x on Sacreds and the 10x on the new Faction Unity Champion for the Sacred Order. The Summon Rush itself is not too crazy. It's what I expected, honestly, around uh, 6 Sacreds in terms, of po uh, in terms of points, right? In terms of value. So 3,150 points to collect the 15 Fragments. Now, the rewards from there... To the rest of them are not that great, right? No soul stones involved. Unfortunately, I wish they would have uh, put in a big soul stone instead of that fist and uh, maybe a medium one uh, around as well. It would have been nice. But hey, uh, if you are going to open some sacreds, most probably you're going to cash on all of these uh, rewards. I have 13 sacreds personally, guys. And if you did not have a chance to watch the video where I reviewed the new faction unity for the sacred order, I have posted this video yesterday. He's actually really solid. He has a very unique passive that can keep him alive. Uh, once the allies' enemies take a uh, turn combined, uh, then he takes an action. He loses that. He's building it up again. The skill works in pretty much the same way. When you have two faction allies, three faction allies, you just go ham and you deal a lot of damage. He's going to be a lot of fun. He's going to be a massive carry for a lot of you guys in Tag Team Arena. A massive carry in Classic Arena as well. I don't think... Is going to be great in live arena uh, for live arena it's easy to either ban him either ban one of his uh, sacred order champions and it's game over or if you just ban him the sacred order becomes really weak you have sick friend if you're lucky enough to have the mythical champion and let's be honest how many of us actually have a sick friend i don't do you probably not so <laughs> it's pretty simple it's not gonna be great for live arena but overall he is a very interesting champion he deals tons and tons of damage and uh yeah i do think is uh, worth trying maybe but if you're not really a pvp guy for pve he can still slaughter waves but i feel like he's not really gonna bring you that much value all uh, all around so 13 sacreds guys uh i can't really remember where my mercy is with the sacreds only two sacreds in so who knows maybe we're gonna see some wonders hopefully i haven't been lucky with sacred ancients primals in a very 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 long time the quality of the champions that i summoned in terms of legendaries, is absolutely dog poo, okay? So hopefully, today we are going to change that and wish you guys luck as well. Let's see, what are we bringing home from here? Of course, today the clan boss was not generous. It didn't give me any, any extra sacred shards. Toragi the frog, an absolute monster. You have a small chance of putting decrease attack with the basic skill. Then you have AoE attack, you have a provoke, uh, you have the... A3, which places a shield, places an ally protection on all of your allies, uh, puts reflect damage on the champion. The heal increases by 2.5% for each poison debuff on the enemy team because you're getting a bit of a healing as well. And you have this passive that has a chance to land poisons on the attacker. Very solid epic champion. If you guys summoned one, definitely don't uh, sleep on him, you know. He's going to be very useful. Now we have uh, Elfring the Handsome or Elfring the Shy. I can't even remember what this epic does, but I don't really have high hopes for him. AoE attack, chance to steal a random buff. Yeah, he does nothing, basically. <laughs> he doesn't do much. He doesn't do much, unfortunately. Hopefully, they have him on the buff list in the near future. Who knows? Would be nice to see him there. Oh, for a second. For a second. I thought that that ring of, ring of that might actually do something. Royal Guard. He's been an MVP since day one in Rage Shadow Legends. He's a vanilla champion. He never got a buff, but he's still viable in 2024. I wish I could say this for a lot of uh, old legendaries or epics, actually. Defense down on the A1, you have this takedown, tons of damage. Good for Hydra as well, guys, if you don't have uh, any of the big boy uh, uh, champions. I feel like since they changed Hydra and you can provoke the Head of Decay, Husk is really better than Royal Guard because of it, but he still has value, you know, and... Decrease speed with the uh, with the A3, good damage. Overall, not a not a bad epic champion at all. Royal Guard, Royal Guard. Who do we have in here? Okay, okay. Port Bard the Bard. I am using this bad boy in a uh, Sintranos. I think on two or three different rotations for the Cursed City. What I like about him is attacks one enemy, has a chance to place a stun. And with this one, you have AOE defense down. I'm running him on a stun set, of course, because. All the champions need to be on a stun set for the Cursed City. But he's not too bad. The only thing is that this is on a 4-turn cooldown. I would love to see this on a 3-turn cooldown in the future. So hopefully, he is a bit on the, on the buff list too. 
Nine more sacred shards, man. Come on. Don't let me down, game. Bring me that legendary. Where are my legendaries? Ursine Ice Crusher. It was part of the very first battle pass, the best battle pass we ever had in Raid Shadow Legends, and that just brings back old memories, man. He's not that insane as a champion. He's more of a faction war uh, champions, a uh, champion. Him and his uh, his twin brother, you know, Hexia. Hexia is actually solid again for the Cursed series. She deals a lot of damage. A lot of people don't even know that, but she's actually smacking. This skill hits really, really hard. This skill again hits really, really hard. So what I usually do, I give her some uh, gear from one of my nukers, take her in the Cursed City, melt all of the enemies, move the gear back. So I don't have her own gear on her just yet, but I am definitely looking to do that in the, in the future, you know. The aura is for faction creeps, not great. With the A1, you have a chance to land the uh, defense down. But she hits really hard. Really, really hard. Oh my god, man. Is this a 2 axe on? I don't believe it. Uh, and a Moonbeam is being used for the Mythical Fusion, if I am not mistaken. Not an amazing epic champion. I wouldn't necessarily bother to level one up just to uh, to use uh, use it around. You know, like yes, you can use it in faction wars. Don't get me wrong, but it's honestly pretty underwhelming uh, comparing this epic with the rest of the Sylvan Watcher epics. Six more, uh, six more sacred shards and a thousand dreams because one seems that is not enough, considering that we're only getting epics back to back to back to back to back to back on a two x sacred shards. You met Togi, so. Perfect Veil increased speed. Uh, you have a bit of damage from here. She's not really one of the craziest epics from the Shadowkins either. You know, she's a bit underwhelming comparing her with the majority of the epics from uh, from the Shadowkin faction. I wouldn't suggest you to invest in her. Unless you really have no other options for faction wars. And my god, here we go with another epic. Let me just do a face palm. We have an Anchorite. He's nice. I used him in the in the Hydra with the Corporal and Cadaver team, but that doesn't exist anymore, so that makes him a bit irrelevant now, because he was cleansing and increases the duration of all ally buffs. Uh, you're getting a, a full heal right here, an increased crit rate, increased crit damage on all allies, and AoE attack was great on a cursed set, you know. Probably even now you can use it on a, on a cursed set, on a stun set for the cursed city. And another epic, here we go, we got a Mist Rider Dighty, 10 sacreds in, no legendaries. So we are already a bit, uh, a bit um, off, off the rates here. He's solid. You can do clan boss teams with him. Uh, he's actually extremely important, I think, on the second or on the third rotation of the Cursed City. You see, Cursed City, guys, made so many champions <laughs> viable. Uh, buffs with increased attack, increased uh, accuracy, extra turn, uh, AoE, defense down. If he plans the defense down on everybody, he has... Uh, uh, an extra turn basically which is pretty pretty nice and then you have the a1 which again is doing decent uh, decent damage can we get please please the 10x champion if you don't want to give me any legendaries give me at least that one man we got a rask this is just painful guys he heals pretty good with a passive right so the epics that i'm getting are actually not bad you know but what am i gonna do with them i already have them all built more or less so would be nice to see some shiny gold thing Basically, give him full crit rate, preferably a Relentless, and make him go ham, you know, constantly just hit, hit, hit. Uh, a Relentless plus Retaliation, that's the way to go on Rask. Absolutely bonkers. He's gonna heal you for a, for a lot uh, if you build him properly. Come on, game. I think I am about to lose it. <laughs> we got a Yella Girna, 12 Sacred Shards in. I, I I feel uh, I feel like this. I feel like I was robbed, basically. Uh, increase attack on this champion for two turns if you kill an enemy. AOE attack with decrease attack, and you have attacks one enemy with block buffs and block active skills. Not great, not great. And uh, she rev uh, revives a random ally. Sorry, every time uh, this champion kills an enemy. So <clears throat> yeah, not uh, not great, man. Like. Do I need to do some sacrifice to the gods of RNG or what is happening here? One sacred shard left. Finally. And we got an amazing, amazing legendary champion. Oh my god, yes! Yes! No, we don't actually. No, we don't. You see what I was telling you? I haven't got a good legendary out of sacred or ancient shards since 2019, okay? That, that's how long it's been. I'm just messing around. It's been a long, long time. And this was just absolutely painful.
pain Fall Guys. Skull Lord Vargal, while he's not completely trash, is actually pretty good for Hydra. I already have so many copies of him, I can't even remember. And I think I sold two copies for the token trader before, or at least one. Double Hitter is getting a bit of Termiter. Uh, he has a chance to repeat a skill. Places a heal reduction if the skill is repeated. You have a Strengthen, and you have a Provoke on the target enemy for uh, one turn. This is actually nice. He's on a two-turn cooldown. I actually like this one. He doesn't attack the enemy. He's very auto-friendly, you know. And you, you have the Strengthen. If you don't use a different champion with Strengthen, he's going to do a good mischief target. So that's kind of like his job. Uh, provoke, mischief target, and AoE decrease attack with the A3 on a three-turn cooldown. The passive is pretty irrelevant for, uh, for the Hydra. Uh, he can solo the Scarab King as well, guys. Uh, so that's another thing to keep in mind because of the passive. When attacked, destroys the attacker's uh, max HP by 5%. Destroys the max HP of bosses by 2.5% instead. Except the Scarab King, whose max HP will be destroyed by 0.5. Cannot destroy a single enemy's max HP by more than 50%. Occurs once per attack. So, uh, when you ascend it, that increases a bit, uh, a bit the chance, you know. But he's not uh, utterly trash for the areas that I just named you. The only thing is, like, how many... How many of them can you actually end up in, uh, in using, you know, like, let's be honest, how many can, uh, can you get up, uh, up and running? We have, look at that, I have one, two, three, four, uh, four of them right now, and I sold one or two before, so I have tons and tons of copies. It's not a flex, okay, this is literally not a flex, guys. If you want to build him, probably perception, probably different sets that will allow you to get accuracy, speed, and resistance to make him viable for the Hydra Clan boss. If you need him for the Doom Tower, for the Scarab King, you will need the regeneration on, uh, on the champion. But guys, that was all for this video. Hopefully you have uh, much better luck than I had, like a thousand times better luck than, uh, than me. Appreciate every single one of you guys watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.